Guitar Practice Session 91824. These are basically fairly sloppy practice sessions where I work on whatever I feel like I need to be working on. I go over the practice session and then basically give a recap of what I looked through within the practice session. This is the recap, hoping that the practice sessions help me to generate a routine, verbalize what I am learning, which hopefully gets it in my head better, possibly provides a resource for other people working on similar things, also possibly providing feedback for anybody who sees possibly a different way or better way to try to learn the things that I am learning. This process will be a little bit different than possibly other people you might be learning a guitar from in that we're going to try to get everything going the same way to make it as easily to visualize as possible, meaning that our worksheet, which we'll try to provide to you as well, and uh, you can possibly set up a similar process, use the worksheet, don't worry about plagiarizing the worksheet if you want to present your own uh, guitar presentations with it, you can change it or do whatever you want to do with it, because I do think that trying to verbalize what you're doing, putting it in words as though you're presenting it to someone else, even if no one else is watching, is a useful tool to do. So the worksheet that I have here is gonna be the top or low or heavy E string is going to be on top. So I can read it top to bottom, left to right in a similar way as I'm viewing my fretboard from behind the guitar. And then I'll also rotate on the screen so it looks like I'm left-handed so that once again, you see on the screen a guitar that has the low string on top in a similar fashion as you behind the guitar and top to bottom, left to right should match what I'm playing and then what is on this worksheet and uh, for yourself on your own guitar. And then uh, what we're going to be looking at this time, I looked at basically the Lydian mode, which I'm calling absolute mode number four because I'm giving absolute mode numbers in relation to the major scale, which is the Ionian uh, mode. So we'll talk about that a bit more. I'm looking at what I would call position number two, I'm thinking about different naming conventions to name uh, these positions on the fretboard, some which could be useful to talk to other people because many different people call these different things. They might use the cage system, they might use a generic numbering system and so on and so forth. But also I'm going to come up with some other experimental naming conventions which might make it easier for me to see the modes uh, in relationship to each of these uh, step. So I'm going to play with that and see if that is something that is useful. We will then take a look at the shapes in here. I'm going to create a little bit of a narrative to try to remember each of these kind of shapes and what modes are starting in each of those shapes. We'll look at the intervals from step to step, holes and half steps with the uh, Lydian mode, which I'm calling absolute mode number four. We'll take a look at each of these intervals, comparing them to the related major uh, scale. And uh, and so we'll work through that. We'll go forwards and backwards with that. And we'll count up on the fretboard. That's basically what I went through. And then I tried to just kind of play around in uh, the Lydian. Wasn't too successful, not very impressive or anything. Uh, but pay possibly some practice exercises just to think about, okay, how can I think of myself as being in the Lydian mode? And then I just kind of noodled around with that. Uh, and so it's probably a mode uh, that I need to kind of play with and work on more myself. Uh, so it's the general takeaway here. In any case, that's it. Continuing with what I call position number two, looking at absolute mode number four, the Lydian mode, remembering that this numbering system might be a little bit different than what you've seen elsewhere in that I'm using an absolute numbering system for the modes so that the Lydian is always mode number four because I'm looking at it in relation to the key, that being the mode number one, the Ionian mode, otherwise known as the major scale. Therefore, Lydian is always going to be what I think of as absolute mode number four as it relates to mode number one, the major scale. So we're going to be in the key of Lydian. We have then the first, second, third, and so on and so forth. The first of the Lydian, if you played from there, would be the Lydian mode, of course, but I'm numbering it absolute mode number four and we can see it's going to be a major mode because this is an uppercase uh number so we're going to basically be in f lydian even though i'm in what i would call shape number two noting that we can call shape number two different ways people have different naming systems that they use to to name the shapes 
So that you might just call it, most people would say, well, what's the top note in the shape? And you'd think it'd be the B, but really it's the C that we, that we associate with the shape most often because that's going to be our major uh, C or our, our major shape, which happens to be C in this case. So if you're using the caged system to name the shape, you typically have to go to the related major, which would be a C, and say, okay, if that was this note, then if I was to, to play in here, I would get a, a bar chord, which is basically an E that has been barred off. So you might call this shape, name the entire shape, basically after the cage system as uh, the, the E uh, shape, in essence, even though there's only three notes here, there's five notes we're playing, but there's only three actual notes, there's repetitive octaves in this. So that's another way that we can use another naming convention that we could use. Now, oftentimes I just think of the second shape as uh, what I call the second shape because the first shape, by the way, is this shape for many players because that's like our rock and roll shape. So that's often what people think of as like shape number one, but that's a generic convention, which means that this shape would, would be obviously shape number two because it's the next one up but uh you can also you can also just call it the major shape because most people would say that that, that if they're going to play that bar chord they're going to once again name it after that bar chord so instead of calling it an e shape you just might call it you know the major bar chord shape right it's the major shape uh now that's a little bit tricky because usually we would like to name these shapes by the first note in the shape which would be a b but we don't typically do that with this shape because if we played from the b that would be the seventh uh which would be i'm sorry that would be over here the fourth of the lydian which would be the seventh mode the locrian mode so we don't actually usually play the locrian mode so it's kind of funny that the first note in this shape would be playing the Locrian, which we don't typically play. We usually start this shape with the second note, which is why I would normally call it a major, basically the, ma the main major shape. So we could get more specific and try to, and I'm working on this like naming convention and see if it helps me to understand things in my mind and say, well, I'm gonna call this uh, the second note major shape. In other words, I'm saying this is the second note in the shape. So if I name the shape by the second note in the shape, it would be the major scale shape or the second note Ionian mode, if you wanted to call it by mode. And we're looking at, uh, at the fourth mode. And how do I get to the fourth mode? Well, we could say if that's the C, I know that the C is number one. And, and I want to get to uh, the fourth mode, so I could just count up. So I'd say this is going to be one, two, three, four, and that's going to give me to my F. So I just counted up the actual notes that are in the shape, not counting the white notes that aren't, that aren't being included. We're using the colored notes here because those are the ones in our shape. Now, if I didn't really know the shape well, but I know that that's a C, I could say, okay, well, if that's the C, that's going to be the first. And I know that the Lydian is the fourth, therefore it's going to be a fourth away and a, f and a f uh, I'm sorry, yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be a fourth away and a fourth is going to be a five note away, perfect fourth. So I could say then these two strings going one string down because there's a five note distance would be the perfect fourth away. Now then I could try to name these shapes by from the top note and say, well, where where is the Lydian in relation to the first note in this shape? So you've got one, two, three, four, five. It's actually the fifth note if I started this shape from the top point of the shape. So I could say this is, I'm gonna to start to try to see if I can name the shapes like it's uh, it's note five, it's, it's the note five Lydian shape, meaning it's the shape where the fifth, the fifth from the top note is the Lydian. Now, I'm not sure if that will stick in my mind or not. Uh, most people probably don't do that, but I'm going to try to label it that way. So I called it this shape, I would say, is the, normally the note two major scale or Ionian. 
because it starts on the second note. But if I try to label it by where each of the modes start, and I'm trying to label it by the Lydian mode, I can say it's it's the note five of the shape Lydian mode. So, which means I'm starting here, and that's going to be kind of my focal point. All right. So I'll, I'll play with that and see if I can get that to work in my mind. So where's where is the Lydian? Now Lydian is the major that I I've kind of used the least because I like the major, obviously the major is the major, and then you've got the mixolydian, which is kind of like the bluesy thing, and then the lydian is not the one I really focus on a lot, so that's kind of an interesting, I'm not sure exactly why that is. On the minor side of things, I like to play in minor, I mean I learned to play in minor more, so that means I played in the aeolian, which is the main minor, and then the dorian just kind of comes natural because it's because it has that open D when you're playing A, Dorian, and then uh, the Phrygian. Also, I don't play quite as much for the minor modes, but I still kind of play around with it, and I think it's kind of because it has that open E. But when I play in the major, I usually play like G major uh, is the thing instead of C major because the G has that open G, I think, which is, I like having some open chords. But then when I go to the four and the five, the one, four, five, I don't really think of myself as being in this four a lot and like noodling around in the four. I just kind of play it and then go back to my G and then noodle around in the G. So maybe I'm thinking I should spend more time like uh, noodling around on the four, which in, in our case is the F. Now, the, the reason I probably don't tend to do that as much is because the F doesn't have an open note over here. And so it's not quite as fun for me to, uh, you know, to be able to play the open notes makes it a little bit, I kind of like that. So anyways, so I'll play, so maybe I'll mess with that after we go through our, after I go through my process here. I'm just trying to get the thought in my mind here. And so, so now we're going to say, all right, well, where is it? Well, we know we have our shapes is going to be the square double stop and then the double stop square or house two note per string flat or the hamburger and then it goes back to the double the square double stop because this is the top of it and this is the bottom of it so where does the phrygian here's our story with all the modes the phrygian is a major mode so if i found my box here and this is another way we can locate the phrygian if i find my box in the shape i know the phrygian lives right underneath the major so the major this is the penthouse this is the house the major's on top it has a nice view of the ocean over here. And then the other, the, 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 the uh, Lydian, I'm sorry, the Lydian, hopefully I've been saying that right, is right underneath it, also has a view of the ocean, but it doesn't have that penthouse top floor on it. And then behind, on the back side of the box, right behind the Lydian, I keep, I hope I'm not, I, I just did Phrygian, so I might have Phrygian in my mind if I call it Phrygian. I apologize, we're on the Lydian, I'm trying to get that straight. But right behind it is the Phrygian, and that's the one where it's like metal kind of rock because it has that flat second. It's more minor than the main minor Aeolian or minor scale because it has the, the minor second. And, and it's like in the basement of the house over here, just bothering uh, Lydian. And then you've got Locrian, which is behind, I'm, I'm imagining it's in the attic of the house because because people don't talk to the Locrian as much unless they want some weird advice. And then the other major is over here and that's gonna be the Mixolydian and it's got the flat seven, which makes it more kind of like bluesy, which is why it hangs out on this side with the minor, with the Dorian mode. This is the Dorian mode, which also is in the house because it's got a, it's a Dorian, it's a, it's a minor mode. And then, and then, over here, here's the minor, that's the main minor, the minor scale, and otherwise known as Aeolian, which also hangs out with the Dorian, so the Dorian and the Mixolydian, and then over here, the Aeolian uh, and, the, and the Dorian, and then when we get to the two note per string hamburger, it's the Mixolydian, the bluesy one, and the Aeolian, or the main minor mode. Okay, that's the story so that we're going to locate all of our stuff here all right so then if i was to if i was to count this up i can say okay 
So where are we here? We're on the, we start on the bottom of the box, on the box double stop, and then we go up, up to here, and then we go down to the double stop box, doot, 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 and then we go to the bottom of the double stop box shape. And that would be one octave. If I count that up from here, we're going, this is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's going to be it. Where's the funny interval? The funny interval here is uh, the, this is uh, the first, the second, the third, and then this should be the fourth. Notice that this is the one where my worksheet pulls in a flat fifth because that's how it's, it's geared on the worksheet. You could call it an augmented fourth or a flat fifth. I could try to work on my worksheet so it pulls in the right one, but that would make a much more complicated formula and I don't feel like doing that. So I just have to note that even though that says you know, diminished or flat fifth, it's actually an augmented fourth, which is the same note. Why do I know it's a fourth? Because I need a fourth. I already have a fifth down here. So I don't want to call it a flat fifth. I got to call it an augmented fourth, right? So that we have to keep that in mind. Hopefully that doesn't throw us off uh, too much, but that's the funny interval that we have. If we were then to count up in holes and half steps here, let's do that because that'll be good times. We're going to say that if I started from here, we're going to go from the first of the Lydian to the second of the Lydian is a whole step. And this I'm keeping in mind the whole steps and half steps as they match up to the related major scale because the Lydian is a major mode. And then when I go from the second to the third, second to the third, we get a whole step. And then when we go from the third uh, to the fourth, that's the funny one. Instead of having a half step like we would in the major scale, we have a whole step, which gets us to that funny augmented fourth. And then when we go from the fourth to the fifth, again, the step is different, but that gets us back in alignment so that we have the normal, back to the normal uh, seven note away perfect fifth. So remember that there's only one different note or octave or interval compared to the related major or minor, in this case compared to the major because this is a major mode. That means that going into that funny interval, there has to be a difference in the half steps and the whole steps to the related major. And then going out, there has to be a half, st a half step difference so that we're back to the normal thing so that we can continue here going from uh, the five to the sixth which is back to normal with a whole step and then the six to the seventh, which is back to normal with a whole step and then the seven to eight, uh, which is going to get us back to is back to normal with a half step and there's our octave. So this, the majors, the majors, by the way, has that distinctive seven to the eight half step leading us home. So that's the leading tone bringing us back home. The major has that, the Lydian has that, the Mixolydian is funny because that's the one with the flat seven, which means that the flat, if you flat the seven, it's over here, then you don't get that leading tone back uh, home. So, so that's going to be those. Hopefully I got that right. Where are my half steps? The half steps are always in the box. So here's the box. We're starting at the bottom of the box here. So we're starting, uh, to, wait a sec. When I was here, I was looking at, here's my octave right there, not here. There's my octave. But in any case, if I'm at the bottom of the box, I'm already, I'm already, this is kind of a funny one because I'm already at the bottom of the box. So that means that the seven to the eighth, like with the major is the half step. But if I start on this one, the one, there's going to be two notes in between. One, two is a whole step, three is a whole step, and then four. So four to five, you get that half step. And then here's the top of the box. There's only one note in between, six, seven to eight, there's a half step. So four to five, seven uh, to eight. So those are going to be the half steps, all right? So then I'm going to say, all right, that makes sense, I think. So let's go ahead and just do our good old interval thing for the Lydian just to get this in our mind. 
So I'm going to say, okay, so if we're on, if we're on uh, the first to the second of the Lydian is a two note away major second, two note away major second. And uh, the inverse of that would be 12 minus two, which would be a 10 note away uh, minor seven. Remembering that the inverse of a major interval is typically a minor interval. Uh, so if I went from the F to the G, two note away major second. If I went from the G to the F, 10 note away minor seven. Okay, and the second of the Lydian is gonna be mode number five. How do we know that? Because if I lose these absolute mode numbers, which are related to the Ionian, I can say the Lydian is four steps away. It's the fourth of the related major. So, I mean, it's, four, it's the fourth of the related major. If I started at one, the Ionian, uh, the major scale, and then I counted down three steps, then I would get to fourth, the fourth. Therefore, it's three notes away from the major in the major scale, which the major scale is our key. Therefore, if I use my formula of four minus one plus whatever I'm in in the, in the second of the Lydian, that's gonna be three plus uh, two gives us absolute mode number five, which is the mixolydian mode. And the mixolydian mode is a major mode, as we can see by the uppercase here. And uh, we can see where it lives over here. It's not in the house, even though it's a major mode, because it's the bluesy mode that hangs out with the other flat seven folk, such as the minor modes, which it's hanging with the Dorian over here at, this, at the moment. But they kind of move around a bit more. They don't stay static in the, in the house like these ones do that are always in the box. Okay, so then we're going to go to uh, the next one. This is going to be the third of the Lydian. The third of the Lydian, given the fact that we're in a major mode, is of course a four note away major third. And the inverse of that, and how can I see that? Because this would be five notes away and then back would be four. So that'd be a four note away major third. Inverse 12 minus four is an eight note away minor ninth. Therefore, if I went from the F to the A, that's the shape I would normally see and say, oh yeah, that's a four note away major third. But the inverse then from A to F, nine note away uh, minor, uh, minor nine. How can I prove that? Because if I went from this A, count it up one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, wait a second. It's an eight note away minor ninth. Sorry about that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There it is. So if it was a circle, then we can imagine going around one way or the other. Okay. I think I have it. Now I also know that the third of a, the third of a Lydian the third of absolute mode number four, Lydian, is four minus one or three plus three, which is six, giving us absolute mode number six, which is the Aeolian mode, otherwise known as the main minor scale, the main minor mode. And uh, so that, and we, where does it live? It doesn't live in the house because it's a minor and it's the main minor. And so it's hanging here with the other minor, the Dorian, the other minor mode. All right, so then, we go from uh, the fourth to the fifth, and this is where it's not, uh, we're gonna call it, uh, wait a sec, no, I went from the third to the fourth, and it should be, it should be an augmented fourth rather than a flat fifth, and this is the funny one, and we can see it's funny <clears throat> because usually, like whenever you see that shape, it's a tensiony shape, usually I would call it a flat five, because the fifth is usually over here, and then you flat it, so that's going to give you that tensiony sound, which is kind of cool actually. But and and it's it's so it's it's got a it's got that flat end here, uh, a flat fifth, or I should call it an augmented fourth. Okay, so and that's going to be a six note away. How do I know that? Because this would be five and then six. The inverse of that would be this is weird too. It'd be twelve minus six, which would also be six which would be, once again, a flat fifth or an augmented fourth. 
So if I go, if I see that shape and I go from F to B, that's going to be a, an augmented fourth or flat fifth. And if I go from B to F, also going the other way though, a flat four, flat fifth or augmented fourth. So that's an odd one. And then I also know that. And we could see why it's odd because it's the Locrian over here. So we know that the fourth of the Lydian mode is absolute mode number four minus one is three plus four is uh, three, four, five, six, seven. Absolute mode number seven, which is the Locrian mode. It's crazy. And it's up in the attic of the house. It hangs out in the attic. It's always there, upper right corner of the house. All right. So then I'm going to go to the next one, which is is uh, the fifth. And so now we have the fifth, which is actually the normal fifth now. That's why we had to call the other one not a flat fifth, but an augmented fourth, because now we have the fifth, which is just a normal fifth. We see that shape, and that's a seven note away perfect fifth, which is going to be, I can count down five, six, seven. So seven note away, perfect fifth, 12 minus seven is five, which would be a five note away, perfect fourth. The perfects are inverses of each other, even though we don't have a perfect fourth over here like we normally do in most modes. But if I went from the F to the C, it would be a five note away, perfect fifth. And I, if I went from the C to the F, four note away, perfect fourth. The fifth of absolute mode number four, Lydian, it's four minus one, which is three plus five, five, six, seven, eight. There's only seven modes though, so eight minus seven is one. And absolute mode number one is the Ionian mode, otherwise known as the major scale. All right, let's go from the fifth to the sixth, to the sixth here. All right, the sixth of the Lydian is a nine note away major six. How do I know that? Because I can count from here five, 10, nine, and uh, the inverse of that would be 12 minus nine, which would be three, which would be a three note away minor third. The inverse of a major is typically a minor. So if I go from this shape, I see this shape and I say, oh yeah, that's a nine note away major six. But if I invert it, going from the D to the F, three note away, minor third. We know that the sixth of absolute mode number four, Lydian mode, is four minus one or three. Three plus six is nine, only seven nodes. So nine minus seven is two, otherwise known as absolute mode number two, the Dorian, who hangs out not in the house because it's a minor mode indicated by the lowercase over here. And it's hanging over here with the main minor, the, the Aeolian or minor scale. All right, so then we're gonna go to the seven. So the seventh here. And so now we're like going do do. And so it's a major seven uh, here because it's a major mode uh, on the Lydian. And how do I know that? Because if I count down, that'd be five, 10, uh, 10, 11, <laughs> 11. 12 minus 11 is one, which would be a one note away minor second. So if I see that shape, I'm gonna say, oh yeah, that's a crazy sound. It's a, it's a uh, 11 note away major seven. And the inverse therefore is the one note away minor second. And that's leading us home to the octave, to the octave. 12 note away octave. All right, so we'll go back the other way. First, a joke, here we go. So, you know, I have a duty. I have a duty and, it's, and it happens to be dog duty. And I really wish I could find a, a trash can to throw this duty away. I mean, it's a little ironic that my core duty is actually to throw away duty, you know? Be because to, to fully embrace one's duty one must actually throw duty away. Wow, that's deep, man. That's some deep duty. I know, right? And and like and like all we are is dust in the wind, man. And duty ultimately is also just dust in the wind, man. 
So, so even if we were currently doing our duty by throwing duty away, some future dude will be doing his duty by throwing us away. Because through our diligent efforts doing our duty by throwing duty away, we have transcended the doing of duty to actually Im becoming, embodying duty itself. That's, that's why we do our duty. Okay, so that we can embody duty uh, at some point. I don't know. I don't know. It needs work. But I, I feel like there's some deep stuff there that I, I gotta make a song about it. I'm gonna write a song about it. All right. You think dust in the wind is deep, man. I've, I'll take it like 10 more levels down. Make it so deep that dust ain't dust no more. It's turned into a rock because that's how deep it is. There's like pressure under there. I put pressure on it because I put it down because I went down so deep. My, my not even talking about dust no more. My dust went from a dust to a rock to a diamond given the, how, deep I, how deep we're going here because of the pressure involved. Dust ain't deep, man. Diamonds are deep. Diamonds are deep. That's why they're a girl's best friend. Because the chicks like deep stuff. And like dust is dust is shallow. You know, that's why you got to be talking about diamond. I don't know. Okay. Let, let, let's get back to the intervals. So we're going to say that this is going to be uh, here to here. So what if we went back the other way? We're going to say that this is going back uh, to to go this way. So we'll say okay. So now we're going to so we're going to be on this uh, double stop uh, square double stop square or house shape and then it goes back doot 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 and then we go up to the top of the double stop square shape boom 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 and then we go to the bottom of the square double stop which goes boom boom and there we have our octave so if we were to count that out we can say all right i'm in the lydian it's good this will be eight or one i'll go from eight eight seven six five four three two one all right so that's going backwards let's do our let's do our intervals and we're gonna say that if I went from the eight, one or eight, and went behind it backwards, then we're gonna go back to the seven. And I know that the seven is gonna be, uh, because it's a, it's a Lydian, it's, it's a major mode, it's 11 note away, major seven, which means it's right behind it, just a half step behind it, right? So, and, and how do I know that? Because I can see it's two, it's one step away here, which means that that would be a minor second. And 12 minus one is 11, which would be an 11 note away major seven. So if I went the normal way from E to F, I would normally say, okay, if I went this way, that would be a one note away minor second. But the inverse of that, if I went from F to E, would be an 11 note away major seven. See, that's like we're going, we're getting towards the diamonds there. We're good, we're going deep, man, on this stuff. Can't say, no, I am blowing in the wind and blowing in the wind. Dang hippies. All right, anyways, let's go back to the, to the next one back. So now we're going to say the sixth of the Lydian is going to be uh, the nine note away major six because it's a major mode uh so so how do i know that well i can say there's a one two three note distance that's a three note away minor third 12 minus three is nine nine note away major six so if i went from the d to the f the normal way i see that shape i'm like oh yeah that's a three note away minor third but that also means the inverse man the inverse is nine note away major six right that's what i'm talking about you have to see it one direction and then you just like change the orientation of your mind, man, until you see it, 
you can see it going backwards in reverse I can watch the story of life in reverse just in my head because I've meditated on it so now we're gonna go back to the uh, the fifth and the fifth is a seven note away perfect fifth how do I know because there's five notes in in between these two so there's five notes in between and seven 12 minus five is seven that would be a seven note away perfect fifth so if I see that shape I'm usually thinking top to bottom C to F that's a, a five note away perfect fourth but if I invert it seven note away perfect fifth seven note away perfect fifth let's go back to the fourth which should be called an augmented fourth it's being called a flat fifth here but that's okay we're not gonna let it bother us you think you bought you think you can bother me with that I don't think so I'm unbotherable and that's gonna be a six note away augmented fourth and how do I know that because if I counted from the B it'd be five and then six which would usually be like a flat fifth so if I went normally see that shape I'm like oh that's the tensiony flat fifth boom it's like a minor scale bluesy maneuver want some relief on that one and then we go uh, but if I went the other way it would also be 12 minus 6 which is also 6 which is a 5 which is a 6 note away which you can call either a flat fifth or an augmented fourth in this case we need a fourth and therefore we'll call it a fourth and say it's an augmented fourth which we're just making it th sounds like you're just making things up at that point because it has two names which is weird but that's how it works and I'm you know it's getting used to it we're getting used to it here I'm gonna I'm getting into the flow of things I see how you're working it I can appreciate I can appreciate it so now we're gonna go back to the three the third which is gonna be a four note away uh, major third how do I know that because if I count it from the A it would be five six seven eight which would be an eight note away minor ninth 12 minus eight is four which would be a four note away major third so if I went from if I see that shape I'm usually thinking from the A to the F which would be an eight note away minor nine but if I went from the F back four note away major third all right let's go back to the one behind that one to the second the second is going to be here, uh, here, and that's going to be then the second of the mode number four, Lydian mode, is a two note away major second. How do we know that? Because if I counted from here up from the G, it would be ten notes away, and twelve minus ten is two, two notes away. So if I usually see that shape, I'm going top to bottom, G to F, that's a ten note away uh, minor seven. But if I invert it, two note away, uh, major second, and then we're back to the octave. All right, let's go. Next, we'll go around the horn, going around the horn. So if I started like on this one, we have to go across the, the fault of the earthquake that happened down there and shift it up our entire territory. The whole territory has shifted. So we'll start at the top. Of what I would call the double stop box and then we got to move up to the two note per string flat or meat of the hamburger which normally would be back here but it's not because we had to step up the invisible curve because there's a fault line because of the earthquake and so we're <clears throat> up here go boom boom and then there's no fault line between these two so we're back to normal so we go from the hamburger we naturally go back here boom 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 and then this repeats up top notice that this right here is actually the top of the double stop of the square double stop because you can see it up here right where it repeats top of the square double stop and then bottom of the square double stop so if we count that out then let's count it out let's count it out and see what it looks like this is going to be going from one two three four five six and then it repeats four five six seven eight so one more time so we go like one two three four five six four five six seven eight all right let's take a look at our intervals then actually let's do another joke uh i had another joke here i've heard that song 
It's so easy to fall in love. <clears throat> it's so easy. And it's like, yeah, no crap. Falling is easy. I mean, it's easy. It's easy to fall off a cliff too. You, you, you know what would be nice when I'm falling? What would be nice? What would be helpful? Is, is an instruction on how to deploy like the parachute. That's what I would need to know when I'm falling. You know what I don't need when I'm, when I'm falling? when I'm plummeting to my splatful death, I don't need some jerk singing in my ear about how, how easy it is to fall. That's what I don't need, dang it, okay? Why don't you do something useful? You're gonna taunt me, I'm here falling. I'm here falling, you could, you could send me a, a rope, give me a parachute, and you're just gonna sing at me, oh, isn't it easy to fall on your face? Is that, yeah, it is easy, okay? Shut up. All right, anyways, I don't know if that was, let's go back to this. <laughs> let's go back here, that, that wasn't funny. All right, whatever, I'm working on it. I feel like if in the right setting that can work in like a zitcom. Okay, <clears throat> back to this. So now we're gonna go to the second. Uh, let's go to the second here, going up this way. Uh, this is going to be the second of uh, the mode number four, uh, which is the Lydian, is going to be a two note away major second. So we have a two note away major second. Inverse 12 minus two is 10, which would be a 10 note away minor seven. So if I see uh, this shape, I'm thinking normally it would be back here, but I had to go back up one because of the earthquake, because of the fault line. Boom, our house has been shifted. So that's a two note away major uh, second. Let's go to the next one. Oh, let's just do this while we're here. So the second, uh, if I'm looking at mode number four, Lydian, four minus one uh, is three, plus two is the mode number five, Mixolydian. So once again, this is the Mixolydian, which is like the minor mode. I mean, it's the bluesy mode the major mode, which is bluesy, and it's hanging with the Dorian in, in like the two-story place here, but it got shifted up because of the fault line. All right, so then we're gonna go then to the next one. This is gonna be the third. Let's go to the third of mode number four, Lydian, because it's a major mode. It's a four note away uh, major third, and it's actually right underneath, which normally would be a fourth, but again, fault line earthquake shifted everything up so now this is actually a four note away uh, major third between these two strings the inverse of that would be 12 minus uh four which would be eight which would be an eight note away uh minor six so if i go from f to a four note away major third from a to f eight note away minor six all right Let's go, and we know that the third of absolute mode number four, Lydian, is four minus one or three plus three, which is six, which gives us the mode number six, otherwise known as Aeolian or the main minor mode, main minor scale. It's hanging not in the house, it's doing its own thing in the flat down here, hanging with uh, Mixolydian, the bluesy scale, in the, in the meat of the hamburger. I also call that shape the meat of the hamburger because that ties into the pentatonic shape, which I talk about when we get to the major and minors. Now let's go to the, the next one, which is the fourth of mode number four, Lydian. And the fourth is the funny one for Lydian. The fourth is funny, which is kind of easy to remember because Lydian is absolute mode number four in our numbering system. And the fourth is the funny one, which is also interesting because it happens to be the Locrian which is the funny mode, so that everything kind of tight, everything kind of works out in our there to tell us that's the funny one for Lydian. So, uh, so we know it's it's actually a six note away augmented uh, fourth. So six note away augmented fourth. How do I know that? Well, if I count it up, here it would be five shifting up here to get to the five because of the earthquake. Uh, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. So that's how we get to a six note away augmented fourth. Inverse, 12 minus six, which is also six, 
So whether I go from F to, to that B, it's a sixth note away augmented fourth, which could also be called a flat fifth. And if I go from the B back to the F, also sixth note away augmented fourth or flat fifth, which is muy interessante, like an elefante, because of the elephant's ears and because it rhymes with interessante. That's like the first word I learned in Spanish. I had an elephant with soft ears. And I was like, I know Spanish because you call elephant elefante. And I, I could say that. All right, let's do the next one. We're going to the fifth of mode number four. Lydian is a seven note away perfect fifth and boom, boom. And how do I know it's seven notes away? Cause it's gonna be five or five out here, 10, nine, eight, seven, inverse 12 minus seven, five, which would be a five note away perfect fourth. So if I go from the seven, from the uh, note number nine F to note number four C, that's gonna be a seven note away perfect fifth. If I went from C back to F, that's gonna be a five note away perfect fourth. Noting that, that this fifth shape still is pushed up, you would think it would be one note back, not because there's a fault line between these two, but because there's a fault line between these two, which is still messing up the shift between these two notes, just to keep get that straight. That fault line messes us up. It's like, if I go, if I go, dang, earthquakes. Uh, by the way, uh, the fifth of absolute mode number four, Lydian, it's going to be four minus one or three plus five, which would be eight. There's only seven modes. Eight minus seven would be one, giving us mode number one, otherwise known as the major scale. And so it's, of course, in the penthouse of the house, top left, looking towards the ocean, which we only have the top part of down here, which we'll repeat up top again, which we will see shortly. All right, let's go to the next one, which is going to be the sixth of mode number four, Lydian, which is going to be a major six because Lydian is a major mode that looks like it should be a minor seven, 11 note or 10 note away major seven, but no, it's a nine note away major six because of the fault in the earthquake zone right here, San Andreas on the fretboard San Andreas fault right on the fretboard. And so uh, there it is. So I count that up. That's going to be nine. That's going to be five, 10, nine, inverse, 12 minus nine, three, three note away, major third. So if I go from F to D, I see that shape. I'm like, okay, that's a nine note away, major six. But if I went from D to F, three note away, minor uh, third. And then let's repeat it up here. These three repeat. So let's go back to the funny one, which is the fourth, which is an augmented fourth, six note away augmented fourth. This time, instead of comparing it to this F, I'm gonna compare it to here, which is an octave up. So if I go from this note and I went to here, I was like, let's go from like here to here. That's a, f I could, it's a funny shape. What do you call that? Well, normally I would count it from the top you could count it out to this one and say, well, this compared to that, which would be a flat fifth or an augmented fourth. But if I count it to this one, it'd be 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. There's only 12 notes. So 12, 18 minus 12 would be 8 minus 2, uh, 8, 7, 6, which would be 6. So if I went, so this to here would be a six note away augmented uh, a flat fifth or augmented fourth. Uh, and then if I said 12 minus six is also six. So going from there to there is also six note away flat fifth or augmented fourth. So that one's right in the middle. So going this way, flat fifth augmented fourth or this way, flat fifth augmented fourth. They both sound funny. They both give you that tensiony sound that makes you feel like I got to resolve that. Something needs a resolution here. I can't sit I can't sit here with this uncomfortableness. We need to resolve things. But no, you can't resolve things. You have to just sit there with the uncomfortableness. And that's okay. I can be okay with that. If that's how it has to be, then whatever. Now we're on the fifth, which is gonna be 
the fifth of mode number four, Lydian, which is, I know it's a seven note away perfect fifth. If I count from the C, it would be five, 10, 15, 16, 17. 17 minus 12 is, is basically seven minus two, seven, six, five. That would be a five note away perfect fourth. So therefore the distance from pure to here, five note away perfect fourth. The inverse 12 minus five would be a seven note away perfect fifth. So normally when I see this shape, if I saw that shape, I'd say, okay, that's a seven note away perfect fifth. But if I went the other way, five note away perfect, uh, 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 wait a second, did I get that? I got that inverted. If I go this way, five note away perfect fourth. And if I go this way, seven note away perfect fifth. Hopefully I got that right. I'm getting a little tired here. I think I'm get, getting a little tired. My pick, I can't get, I'm trying to get my pick to be able to rotate into my pinky easily so that I have all fingers except the pinky to navigate the mouse. All right, so now we're gonna go to this one. Comparing to this one. All right, so this to here, what is that? Well, if it's the sixth, we know that the sixth of a mode number four Lydian is a major mode, nine note away, a major six. Therefore, how do I know that? Well, if I count from the D, it would be five, 10, 15, 15 minus 12 is basically five minus two, five, four, three, that'd be a three note away minor third. So if I may, if I see that shape, I'm like, okay. From the D, that's a three note away minor third, but 12 minus three is nine. So if I go from the F to the D, nine note away major sixth. All right, and then we'll go to the next one, here to here, to do. so we go here to here. And that's going to be the seventh of absolute mode number four. Lydian is going to be an 11 note away major seventh. How do I know that? Because I could count from the E going 5, 10, 11, 12, 13. And 12, 13 minus 12 is 1. So that would be a one note away flat, uh, one note away uh, minor second. If I say 12 minus 1. <laughs> Uh, it would be 11, 11 note away major seven. So if I see that shape, I'm usually measuring from the E saying, oh yeah, that's an 11 note away uh, major seven. It's a little bit harder to see that shape because again, it's up an octave, uh, but, I could, but and then the inverse of that would be, oh wait, <laughs> I'm sorry. If I see that shape, I should be saying that's a one note away uh, minor second. And the inverse, would be an 11 note away major seven. All right, I'm getting a little tired here. Uh, I was gonna go backwards the other way. I don't know if I can do it though. So let's just, I'll just kind of noodle around here. So I was trying to think like uh, to practice in the Lydian, uh, I could just pick maybe a note like within my shape here and I'm just going to put my pointer on it. Normally when I pick that note here, I kind of play it in A. So I'm playing the note above it. But if I if I try to make that my main note, just see what I can reach, of course, uh, in this area. And so first, clearly we have then the, this note and then you've got like that three note per string because it's a major mode. So you've got from here, boom, boom. And then you don't have the one underneath it because you have this it's it's moved up here so now you've got this boom which is kind of funny because that's that flat fifth or in this case augmented fourth and then boom boom and then i have this above it so let's just play like on this line and then in this line i'm just kind of noodling around and saying okay well how can i kind of mess with this shape because then i'll be kind of like in lydian so this would be like f would be this shape or this shape here's my roots from there and so then if I'm here we have da, 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 da. and there's that funny interval
having the third behind it. So the third is back here, and there's another, you know, third up here. So I grab in the third behind it, and then say, okay, we're gonna grab with those two. same thing up here 
it's going to move up to this one here or maybe I could do this one and see what I can reach here same shapes so we've got you know these two up behind it and then I've got this a right there so if I was up in this shape from this F then I've got it's a little easier to reach up some work in the Lydian 